It was a Saturday night. My understanding was about 10 to 12, 5 to 12, when the call came into the ambulance company, that there was a man in the street that had been stabbed and was bleeding, bleeding to death. The defendants, each and every one of them, readily agreed to go looking for Mexicans to beat up. Conroy, the defendant who has been charged in this case with murder, took out a knife that he had in his pocket, ran towards Marcello with his arms extended, and plunged the knife into Marcello Lucero's chest. This is the knife that killed Marcello Lucero. The detective came over to my house and told me, listen, I'm sorry to tell you this, but your brother got killed last night. And I'm, I'm the first thing I take my cell phone and I call him. And there was ring the phone, ring, but they don't answer. So I try again. I say, no, you're wrong. You, that, that's, that's not, that's not, you're wrong. So I call him the second time and he told me, he's not gonna answer your phone because we have his phone. He's dead. El sufrimiento es tan grande que ya... No sé. Yo mismo pienso y no acabo y le pido a Dios que me conforme. Porque hay momentos que se llena, me llena de desesperación. A veces lloro en silencio, porque la pena es tan grande, el perder a mi hijo. El corazón se hace pedazos de saber, de perder a un hombre lleno de vida como estaba él. Un hombre joven con una vida por delante. What happened at the spot that we stand right now when Marcelo Lucero was killed, it was a tragedy that will forever change this community. It, it will change how I look and how I do my job. And I have to be the one for this community that must show the leadership to how we're going to change and make this a safe place for people to be.